Hello, I'm Andrew Lawrence King and today I'm talking about the regal. In the early 17th century, in Monteverdi's opera Orfeo, 1607, two different types of small organ are played, the organo di legno and the regal. If we think of the organo di legno with its wooden pipes as a collection of flutes attached to a keyboard, then we can imagine the regal as a collection of reed pipes, shawms, for example. The pipes are made of metal and they're very short for the note that they produce. That's partly why the sound is very brilliant and rich in upper harmonics. As the air comes in, this metal tongue vibrates against the shallot underneath. The length of the vibrating tongue is controlled with the spring on the top. You can move that in and out to tune the note. And the sound produced is amplified by the very short metal resonator. Resonators can also be made of wood. In theory, this doesn't change the sound, but tradition says that wooden resonators give a softer sound. The early history of the regal is shrouded in mystery, and any confident assertions that you read in modern-day music history books should be taken with considerable scepticism. The earliest mention of a reed pipe for an organ is in the early 1400s, although it's quite plausible that regals existed before this. Historically, the air supply for regals came from hand-operated bellows. Two pairs of bellows, one for each hand, and a pressurised wind reserve provided for a constant wind supply. of England owned a great number of regals of different kinds, some larger, some smaller, about 18 instruments in total. a significant continuo instrument in the early 17th century, described by Pretorius and used by Monteverdi in Orfeo. The sweet, soft tones of the organo di legno characterise the pastoral world of the nymphs and shepherds, whereas the sharper sound of the regal characterised hell. I customised this particular instrument with a short octave of very low bass pipes, like that 
early 17th century bass wind instrument, the racket. The rich upper harmonics of those bass notes create the impression of a very, very strong low bass, especially at the bottom of a wind consort. Thank you for listening. I'm Andrew Lawrence King, and this is The Regal.